Hey everyone, it's me. Today I'm here to bring you a nail polish collection video. This was requested by Inglax, U-N-G-L-A-X, over a month ago, and this is my third freaking time recording this. It just wouldn't work. This is my collection, and I'm going to start with Joe Fresh first, just because it's the biggest part of my collection. And this is just where I store them. It's like a felt-lined wooden box that I made when I was like... I could say, honestly, 10 at a Home Depot workshop. So it's, like, so cute. Starting with the Joe Fresh. I hope this doesn't fall. This is black. It does not have a name. It's just a basic matte black. I never got to use it that much, so the formula kind of has gotten thicker. And what I need to say about the Joe Fresh ones is that the formula does get thick. So I guess use it while you can, I guess, because they're so inexpensive, a 3 for 10 or $4 on its own, that it's kind of expected. So I guess use it up while you have it and make sure that you don't lay it sideways because that's how I used to lay it but now I put it in that box. My next one is Grape. It's amazing. It's a shimmery bold purple that I love to death and I wore all the time. Um, this is definitely one that I'm going to be repurchasing the second it runs out. I haven't used it often but like recently sorry but I love it to death. It's beautiful. My next one is a blue with a purple sheen in there. I don't know if you can see it with the light. I know when I looked back at the other recording, you could kind of see a purple in there. But it's just a deep blue, I'd say closer to a navy, but with a lot of shimmer, like an, an ocean blue, but at like night, you know what I'm saying? It's really pretty. I used to wear this a lot as well, and it's a really gorgeous color. My next one is, I guess, a pastel. It's mint. Um... It applies as like a light bluish, but there's definitely a lot of cool green in there, so it's definitely really minty. I wore that a lot, like, you don't even know. I'd take it off and reapply. This one is probably one of my favorites. I only wore it about one or two times, and every time I put it on, I would play Kesha, and I can go for like hours just applying nail polish. It's gold, it's just an amazing shimmery gold, and I'm probably going to be using this next, just because I love how pretty it is. It doesn't go on completely gold, it does, you need to layer it, I'd say about three coats, three, maybe three and a half to get it opaque. If you want it this kind of gold, like in the bottle, you can't see through it. Um, it's really pretty, I like it. I'm going to be using it more in summer. It's called Fog, it's just a basic matte gray, um, no sheen, no nothing to it, it's really pretty, I wore this a lot, like this is probably one of my most worn Joe Fresh polishes. It's just pretty, it goes with everything, and I love grays and blacks and whites, like, and it just, always complimented my outfits and stuff. My next one is, it doesn't have a name, but it's um, a shimmery, silvery, grayish black. Definitely worn for nighttime. Um, I wore this a lot as well, but after a while the formula got thick, so I kind of like fell out of love with it. My next one is a nude. It's called Caramel. Uh, definitely meant for darker skin tones, I'd say, because it's a bit, I don't know, I see yellowy in it. Not really, but like, you know what I mean? For a nude, there's a bit of yellow in there. I suggest this for darker skin tones, not so much like mine, because I'm like, I'm like white, and then I'd have like caramel nails, like it doesn't really match. My next Joe Fresh is Powder Blue. It's kind of a pastel. Um, it's definitely really cool. I wore this a lot as well. I, before I shook it, it was like all the way down there. My next one is an old Wet n Wild top and base coat. Um, it was good when I had it, but now it's all like mucky, and I'm throwing that out. Next, I'll go with Gosh. This one is like a taupey, dirty brown, kind of. It's called, um, 596 Miss Mole. It's from Gosh Cosmetics. It's really pretty. I wore this a couple times. I don't really like the formulation of the nail polish. It's kind of thick, but it is good for, like, two coats opaque. I do really like it, but take your time with this one. Next one is called Yellow Brick Road. It's from Claire's Cosmetics. It goes for, like, $4, four fifty in Canada. And the Miss Mole is around 7. And this, I really wanted the yellow because it's inspired by the Chanel Spring Summer nail polish. It's like this amazing yellow. I'm probably going to go pick it up next time I'm in Toronto. This is the same thing, basically. It's really pretty. Um, it literally took me like 7 coats to get it not streaky. But I'd say if you don't mind streaking it, I'd say about 3 would be okay. It's good, I like it, and the second I saw the name Yellow Brick Road, I tossed it on my nails. My next ones are my Sally Hansen. This one is 260 Ivy League. It's just a pea green, a shimmery pea green. It's so bold, it's crazy. While I was playing with it, I've noticed that the formulation is really good. It's really, it's not thick, but it's not thin, so it will go on maybe two coats opaque. It's really pretty. 
my next one's Montan Green with Envy. It's just a light, light, pale lime green. Super pretty. I love it to death. Can't wait to use it. My next one is 240 Twisted Pink. It's just a matte sheen with the sheen hot pink. I just have to give my friend the uh, China Glaze Fiji Fling back to her. It's a bit of a corally hot pink with shimmer in it. It's a bit too much for me, so this is definitely enough. Um, I can't wait to use hot pink for the summer. I'm super excited. And I'm super excited. My next ones are from American Apparel. These, the, and the Sally Hansons go for about $3. Uh, American Apparel's go for around $9, but I got 20% off because I bought three. This one's clear, and this is just a basic, I used it for base and top, um, even though it probably shouldn't, but it's just, you know, running late, grab this, put it on, and then top your color on. It's really pretty, I don't mind it. The next one is La Spirit, L apostrophe, E-S-P-I-R-T, P-R-I-T. This is a really pretty purple lilac color. I have it on right now. And uh, sunlighting, it's powder blue and most. It's just a really pretty violet lilac. Not much of bad things to say about this. I really like it. It doesn't chip that easily. Even though American Apparel polishes are good, but they do tend to chip a couple days after apply, like being applied. It's really good. I like it so far. This is my second time just playing with it. Um, I like it a lot. Go get it. My last American Apparel is Hacid. It's just a jet black. Because my uh, Joe Fresh one dried out. Um, this one chipped off like two days after using it, probably because I was busy. I wore this for a club thing I was going to, so I just bought the two others with it. There was a deal, and, and it's pretty good. I can't complain. It's just a jet black. So whenever I need a black, that's it. My next one is, uh, this is one I recently bought. Um, it's OPI Sweetheart. It's just a really pale pink. It's really pretty, really cute. Um, really innocent. I like it a lot. It's probably not going to be my go-to color, but it's going to be one that, like, if I'm in a rush or if I'm just, like, I don't know what I want, I'll just go for a neutral, nude, kind of pale pink. And this was, like, 20% off, too, so it was, like, seven fifty with tax, so it was around 8 something but they sell for nine fifty. And my last two I bought while shooting my documentary in Toronto that's coming out maybe closer to summer. I don't want to give away too much. I will when I can. Enough time to go shop. I want to go buy nail polishes, and... This is what I got. So I got uh, the OPI Teenage Dream. It's not really pink. It's more white, pearly, kind of silver, gold, or glitter pieces in there. Um, you need to put it over pink to make it pink, but it's really pretty. I like it a lot. And this is like $13. And my last one while I was shooting, I went to go buy some nail polish, is my burlesque. It's called Sparkalicious. It's just um, a glitter polish, and there is gold, purple, and blue glitters in there. Super pretty. It's definitely a distraction. So I, just, so I suggest if you're in school or something, don't wear this while at school because you will be distracted. Like I can honestly say, the light would hit my nails and I would have to look because of what's, what on my desk is shining. If that makes sense. So yeah, it's a really pretty color. I really like it a lot. It's definitely more evening than practical. But it's really pretty and I like it. And this was around $13 too. So that is my nail polish collection and I guess storage video. So thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, guys, love you a long time. And if you guys want, leave a video description of your makeup, or of your nail polish collection and storage video. I've never asked for one.